Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about um, Cardano. So Cardano currently moving in line with expectations. It's coming down as I've already announced in the last few videos that this is my expectation. We talked here about a potential move down to a dollar actually after Cardano was overbought on the eight hour chart on the daily chart here and told you many times that what we could be developing here as the price failed to break through 126 could become here an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So basically a bullish reversal pattern. But for that, I would ideally want to see the price head down to at least a dollar to the downside. Um, alternatively, you could see this here as a cup and handle pattern where we've formed the cup and we are now here forming this handle. But for that, nearly the price broke down too much. Um, I mean, not not technically. Yeah, typically the price of a um, or the handle can go down 50% of the move and it would still still be considered bullish, but it broke obviously here this ascending trend line. But primarily I would expect here that move down to a dollar. Yeah, that would be here um, the expectation also to fulfill this uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. So yeah, we've been talking that about that here many times on the channel. And also what has recently developed here now is um, a double top. Yeah, so that would indicate here a reversal or at least a temporary reversal to the downside after that strong increase that Cardano saw from around 70 cents all the way down, uh, all the way up to 126, that 68% move. Looking back, it was um, from the current position, the current viewpoint, definitely the right decision to close my long position that I entered after we broke above 114. That was an important support level but in the end it couldn't be held. And as we moved higher, you will remember it if you've been following me on this channel, I added a stop loss um, because it became a bit too risky for me. And I was basically stopped out, but stopped out cost neutral because I did set the stop loss slightly above my um, buying price and the other one slightly below my buying price. Both were stopped out. So in that case, I didn't make a gain. I didn't make a loss. And I'm now waiting for the next entry because the previous one didn't work out but that shows you that how important a strategy is. If you set your stop loss properly, um, you can still go out cost neutral and just wait for the next entry point. So that is what we're doing here on this channel. By the way, we're actually quite close to my first buy order again for my swing term for a uh, swing trade portfolio. Um, so we are close there anyway, and it's currently working out as planned. So everybody should have been prepared for this current downturn. It's nothing big anyway. Uh, it's only 5% at the moment, and we are currently finding support here at $1.11. But the reason why we talked about here this um, potential downtrend is, first of all, the overbought um, RSI. Yes, yeah, so on the momentum indicators, we were overbought. But also, alternatively, here we took a look at the um, chart here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, so potentially having that first five wave move. Alternatively, um, this here was the wave five and this here was the wave three, four, five. Um, but either way, um, we saw that correction coming and because we can interpret this here potentially as a first five wave move, this can also be counted as a wave one as the first impulse here to the upside. And then we have now to expect that wave two to the downside and the minimum target for a wave two, I mentioned that before, is the 50% retracement level and that would be at a dollar. So that is primarily what I would expect now um, to head a bit lower here still. And not only because of that, but also if we take a look at the momentum indicators, we can see that on the eight hour chart, yeah, the momentum is going further down. I think we're even going to see that to cross the zero line again to the downside. Um, let's take a look at the four hour chart, but I wouldn't be surprised if the four hour is also heading down further. Takes a moment here to update. Um, so let's just give it a second. There you go. So yeah, it's also heading further down on the four hour chart. Now you can expect here at some point then a little bit of support because you're getting nearly oversold again on the four hour chart. So yeah, that drop here might already be exhausted for now on the four hour time frame, but it's not yet exhausted on the high, higher time frames. For example, here on the eight hour chart, if I go back to the eight hour, you will see on the RSI that we are not yet oversold. There is more downside potential. And for some reason, it's a bit slow here with updating at the moment. But yeah, you can see here there is further downside potential on, at the eight hour chart. So this is not yet over, in my opinion, even if you see some temporary 
upside from the four hour chart because that's what you do you know you correct down on the four hour you get oversold and then you start to move up again but on the eight hour it's pushing further down on the daily it's pushing further down as well uh, okay so here on the daily um you can see that the price or the rsi did hold quite a while in this above 50 level and we're heading for support now at 50 we're currently at 55 so this is where we are going to decide here i think um if we're finding support will it remain above 50 or not this will be interesting to see here um if it holds 50 it can certainly turn around absolutely and then we probably have not yet seen that wave two yeah um oh let me just remind me later um but what is certainly very very um interesting here is that we see here a daily bearish crossover on the macd it has happened now yeah and this typically would indicate further downside and until we um, reduce that negative momentum again i would expect primarily further downside and that would be very much in line with my primary expectation of continuously now lower prices not necessarily coming down below a dollar again this is i think the dollar line is where we are going to see the decision between um, are we going to make still another lower low or are we holding bullish and carry on moving up from there so keep that dollar line in mind personally i um, expect lower prices here in the short term all right that's my view on cardano hopefully you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment subscribe and as always if you really like the content then check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye